Hi everyone, it's Adam here and the topic of today's video is why Donald J. Trump will be the next President of the United States of America. Donald Trump making America great again. Okay, first off, I despise Donald Trump. Obviously, he's a bigot, he's blowhard, he's way overstates everything, can't be trusted, so on and so forth. So, why is he going to become president? And it was put best the other day. Only 6% of Americans are in favor of the status quo. If you vote for Donald Trump, you know you're going to get change. We had a, a president before him who campaigned on change. What change was there really? Now, it was 94% of people voting for Trump. I don't think they know if it's going to be good change or bad change, but they know it's going to be different from the Republican establishment, the Washington establishment, the Democratic establishment. And that's why Trump is going to win. Now, he's definitely going to win the Republican uh, nomination. The, today's Super Tuesday Part 2. Um, the big ones are the Ohio and uh, Florida. Uh, Republican primaries, winner take all. Uh, Trump's way ahead in the polls. If he can win them today, he will have a commanding lead, and it's going to take some major backstabbing to keep him away from the election or backroom dealing at least uh, for the election of, of the Republican leadership. So, what I anticipate is going to happen after Super Tuesday Part 2 is that the Republican establishment starts to form around uh, Trump. Now we've seen Ben Carson come over to his side, we've seen Chris Christie, we've seen more and more support from mainstream Republicans, and he seems to be lapping it up because at the end of the day, Trump doesn't stand for anything. Uh, he, he just wants to be president, and that's ultimately what will be probably his undoing as president because he's an unprincipled man. Um, even though he, he talks a lot of principle and, and bluster, he will walk back on all his most extreme positions. So very bigoted now, very racist, expecting to walk back on that. He's already walked back on torture, um, immigration. He'll be a little bit more lighthearted. Uh, I mean, he's stuck with the wall position, but it's unrealistic anyway. And so, you know, what do you have? It's just a Donald Trump that is just an anti-establishment character. But... That alone is enough. He's not taking money, uh, except in small donation. Or he doesn't have the packs. He doesn't have the big money, at least, behind him um, in, in the way that other candidates do. Hillary's a pretty soft candidate. People are entrenched and dislike her. And as time goes on and Donald Trump plays up the anti-establishment card, I think he's got a good chance of pulling over the those voters. Now, what does it mean in markets? And that's a tough one to say at this point. But say we assume that Trump wins the presidency. He's not fiscally conservative, so there's a case that he will be spending that's going to be good for economic growth. Now, will it be wasted? Of course it will be wasted. It's government spending. But, you know, even wasted money, some of it adds to growth. So there's a good case of be buying U.S. dollars on the Trump presidency especially since it probably will start to swing the other way in Congress and you start to get Democrats in there who may spend more, um, who, who will also add that stimulative flavor in U.S. politics. So it is winding up to be a pretty good time for the U.S. dollar now. Will it end in tears? Of course it will end in tears. It's been seven, eight years since the last recession. Uh, demographics are worse in the United States. And, uh, and, the, and the U.S. dollar will eventually fall on a lot of that. But for now, um, the, you know, it's, it is time to make America great again. If you, if you like the U.S. dollar, you might as well vote Trump. Um, but uh, it's going to be a very interesting look. And, and I think, you know, to be serious for a moment again, it, it says something about the state of politics in the United States and probably a lot of other places that people are so willing to embrace an outsider. You know, no one really respects Donald Trump, but they just hate the people who are in there so much. And, and, and you see it on the Democratic side too, where Hillary is you know, losing in a lot of states and will only probably win because of the backing of the Democratic establishment. It, it, people want something different. So you have this swing to Trump, if he's on the right or wherever he is, he's on the outside, and, and to Bernie Sanders, who's, who's definitely on the left. And 
you know, it, it's indicative of a world really in flux is anger at the inequality and at the, the lies really over and over again and where that leads in the long term it's very difficult to say you know these things tend to go right but at times they ended up going to the left I, I think America probably swings deeply to the right in the next 10 or 15 years but what does it mean for markets it means a day by day sort of story and there's no trade to be made. Um, the real concern I would have is if the Republican establishment doesn't start to fall in line behind Trump and they really look like they're going to work for some kind of brokered convention to keep him out, that could get very ugly and uh, would would lead to some major uncertainty, hurt the stock market I and mean, that filters into some dollar strength anyway on risk aversion. But, but overall, I, I think that, that they fall in line. Trump tones it down, um, and and he starts to pull in Democrats. He goes anti-Hillary. He can lambaste Hillary like only he can, and that will give him some momentum. And and I think he takes it all, and, and ultimately it probably plays into a good year for the U.S. dollar. Uh, but uh, it's certainly an exciting one. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, trying to have a little bit of fun here. So we'll see what happens later today. Uh, for more videos on Forex, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on uh, Twitter at Forex Live, and like us on Facebook, uh, give it a thumbs up, and uh, or thumbs down, whatever. If you don't like the video, you don't like Trump, uh, we're happy to hear from you, we just want to keep the conversation going.